here we have a nice little antique chair, uh, a ladder back chair, reminiscent of a shaker chair, uh, mostly because of these mushroom cap hand rests. And what's wrong with this chair is that the upper back splat is gone entirely. I have to make a new one. Huh. Interesting. So now the next step is for me to remove what's left of these tenons in the slots where that back splat goes so I can determine the length. Uh, the tenons are pinned and it looks like the pins go all the way through so I'll see if I can knock them back through. Good, I'll be able to reuse that. Now I've got the mortises all cleaned out. I don't know how long to cut my new piece of wood. I'm gonna, I've got to cut it to length. I want it to be cut exactly the right length before I bend it. So I think that what I'm going to do is I have a piece of bendable plywood here. And I think I'm going to make a quick back splat out of this bendable plywood with the curb in it and the tenons that go into the mortises so I can determine exactly how long and the shape of my new back splat. I'm, I'm just eyeballing it straight down here trying to see if I've got the curve. I'm still going to work with my bending plywood here. I'm going to cut the shape of this so I can see how it looks. I did a little bit more of a curve even than what I saw on the bottom. I can't decide if it should be a higher curve or not. So now I'm going to take the piece of wood that I've milled up, the piece of maple, and I'm going to cut it exactly the size of my piece of uh, bending plywood. Okay, so now I'm going to pare down my tenons until they fit in those joints perfectly. I've got to do one and then do the other. Okay, I've got both tenons to fit now. So now I'm going to sand it up and get it all ready. I'm giving this top edge a really good round over and uh, I'm making no attempt to make this curve uh, even or perfect because the others aren't so I wanted to match those. Okay now I've sanded I've sanded my back splat up to uh, 150. I also did my uh, cutoff, sanded it the same way as this uh, because I'm going to need it for a stain sample. So now I'm going to soak this uh, overnight in some uh, hot water with fabric softener. Okay, this has been uh, cooking now for about an hour. It ought to be pretty bendable, so I'm going to take it over to the chair and use that as a guide. This is kind of an extreme bend. I'm not letting the tenons go all the way in, but I want it to bend a little bit more because when I take it out of here it's going to spring back and I can only hope that it will 
uh, be the same curve. Uh, I think it almost has to be, but uh, I'll find out tomorrow when this is dried out. Okay, it's dried overnight. I'm going to pop it out and see what we got here. Okay, good. Now it still has too much of a curve, but I'm going to let it uh, rest for a while, and uh, I'm sure it's going to spring back. Okay, so you can see now as this piece has relaxed a bit, it's actually right about the perfect curve, thank goodness. So now I've got to make sure my ten again, make sure my tenons fit. And I'm going to glue this thing up. I think that I can only stick it in there one time and it's going to be a struggle to get it in and it won't come out again. But I think this thing is at the it's at the exact right curve right now.